To conclude the dog catch a treat trick, we will finish with routine and repetition to master the command. Like everything we've talked about today, discipline, commitment, routine, and, and repetition will ensure your dog learning agility obstacle training and trick training as fast as possible. I normally suggest when you walk your dog in the park, it's a great time to practice your agility obstacle commands as well as your tricks. They're going to be focused and really wanting and eager to learn at that time. To finally review the dog catch a treat, we're going to bait the dog. We're going to get their attention by keeping our hand moving. We're going to start the second, third toss. We're going to want the dog to always catch, catch the treats after the third toss. Cool. Coops, sit. The more they learn to jump on that third toss, the better the chance that they'll be catching the treat. In conclusion, agility obstacle training and dog trick training is a good connection between you and your dog. It'll keep your dog balanced and keep them focused on the right jobs to do and not the wrong jobs. People that call me with destructive, incessant behavior with their dogs, I normally will incorporate the agility and the dog trick training to bring better balance to the owner and the dog. Thank you for watching and have a great day.